Well, today we're celebrating Pi, but today is a special Pi Day. It's the Pi Day of the century. And, 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 and so, so there's some sort of our wackiness to it. You know, people, eat, people gather and they, they eat pie as in the pastry. And what we decided to do was have some activities that would involve not just eating pie, of course, that was the, that was the culmination at the end, but, uh, but studying pie. We did some, uh, some activities where we measured pie. I made a short lecture about the two different natures of pie and why they are, in fact, the same number. And then, as well as pe people also wrote the digits of pi on, on the sidewalk outside, and there's a contest for who could memorize the digits of pi. Um, some of those people know a lot. This is, this, is, this, is, this is an opportunity for people to do something that's unusual uh, and a little, a little nerdy but kind of cool. So we want to celebrate this concept of pi because it's just it's so well known by, by people, you know. It's, it's nice. You take, you measure a circumference of a circle and divide by the diameter and it's going to be pi. Um, and so it's just, it's constant and it's everywhere in the world and it's exciting to people because of that. And it's just, it's a friendly way to, you know, approach mathematics. 31415, March 14th, 2015. And we started at 926.53 a.m., which was the Pi second of the century. Or rather, one of the two Pi seconds of the century, because there's another one this evening. But since we had little kids, we couldn't exactly have a party at 10 p.m.